You know, there's a common misconception about air conditioning that you've got a magic box in your car that makes cold air. And really, that's not the way air conditioning works. The way air conditioning works is you take the, the heat out of air within an enclosed area. The first thing you've got to do before you add air conditioning to a car is make sure your car is sealed and insulated well. The way air conditioning works is you have a refrigerant that circulates through your system. It changes from a liquid to a gas, it evaporates, and when it changes from a liquid to gas in evaporation, it absorbs heat. When it condenses from a gas to a liquid, it dissipates heat. So basically what you're doing is absorbing the heat inside your vehicle and then transferring that heat and dissipating it to the outside. From the condenser, we'll move to the receiver dryer. From the receiver dryer, we're gonna to move to the compressor safety switch, which will either be a binary safety switch or a trinary safety switch. Then we'll move into the expansion valve, which is at the inlet of your evaporator coil. Then the evaporator coil and the evaporator itself, which is inside the vehicle. And then we're gonna follow back to the compressor. When we talk about it being the heart of your system, what the compressor does is actually pump the refrigerant through the system. So we'll start at the compressor, pump our refrigerant in a gaseous form into our condenser, which is in front of the radiator. In front of the radiator now, you're gonna get airflow through that heat exchanger, through that condenser. And as the air flows through that heat exchanger, it removes the heat from that refrigerant and condenses it from a high pressure gas into a high pressure liquid. Now we're gonna pump that high pressure liquid into your receiver dryer. From there, we're gonna go through the compressor safety switch and the compressor safety switch does exactly that. It, it protects the compressor from damage from either too much pressure in the system or not enough pressure if you lose your refrigerant from the system through a leak. We're gonna go now into the expansion valve and the expansion valve is at the inlet of your evaporator coil. Basically regulates the amount of refrigerant going into your AC coil, number one. And the second thing it does is it atomizes that high pressure liquid refrigerant into droplets. And then these droplets, as they go through your coil, we're gonna pull in the hot air from the vehicle through our blower, blow that hot air across this coil. And as these droplets of refrigerant evaporate, they absorb the heat from this air going across the coil. So you're gonna pull that gas back into the compressor, compress it into a high pressure gas, and start the whole cycle over again.